The system has a complete range of gate kits to suit most needs. These can be screwed together on site, allowing you to mix and match colors and to adjust the width of the gate on site to fit the width of the gate opening. The gate kit comes complete with the following items. Two styles, two rails, screws, two post caps. Optional extras to finish off the gate are gate locking accessories such as latch, hinges, drop bolt, infill sheets and two 65 by 65 SHS posts. Gate posts should be set out and installed making allowance for a 20 mm clearance for single and extra wide gates or a 30 mm clearance for double gates to allow for hinges and free opening of the gate. Lay out the infill sheets onto a flat surface taking care not to scratch the sheets. For extra wide gates overlap the sheets to form the required width. Using a pair of tin snips make two cuts to each corner of the infill sheet to form notches. The corners of the infill sheets need to be notched 5 mm by 10 mm. If using the plus designs, that is with lattice, the top notches need to be made 10 mm by 35 mm. If you are installing a gate with lattice, then you will need to prepare the lattice. Using tin snips, you will need to remove a notch from the top flange of both ends of the lattice. With your marker, Mark the position for the lattice clips on the styles. Measure the length of the infill sheet up from the inside of the bottom of the gate style, less 12 mm. In the case of our 1500 mm gate, it will be 1190 mm less 12 mm, which equals 1178 mm. Screw fix the lattice clips at this position. An edge cover strip needs to be attached to the infill sheet. With the infill sheets on a soft surface, fit the top and bottom rails to the infill sheets, taking care to avoid scratching either the rails or infill sheets. Slide the spigots of the styles into the top and bottom rails. Slide the styles hard against both ends of the rail and screw fix with the supplied screws, one at 20 mm in from the junction of each rail style. Now check the diagonals of the gate to ensure that it is square and adjust as necessary. For the gate to be square, the diagonal measurements of the gate must be the same. Once the gate is square, place an additional screw in each style rail connection 170 mm in from the style. Now turn the gate over and screw fix the rails to the styles as per the other side. As a tip, screwing two holes in the bottom rail will assist with drainage. If you have lattice, now insert the top of the lattice into the very top rail of the gate and rotate the bottom of the lattice to the center of the lower top rail. Screw fix it with three equally spaced screws to the middle rail. Cardboard between the drill and the lattice will protect the paintwork. Install the black plastic plugs into the top of the gate styles. Measure 200 millimeters up from the bottom of the gate and 150 millimeters down from the top of the gate and install the supplied hinges with screws supplied. Measure down from the top of your installed gate post 150 mm and mark. Carefully prop the gate to the closed position and screw fix the top hinge to the 150 mm mark with one screw only at this stage. Then align the bottom hinge on the post so that the gate style and gate post are parallel and place one screw in the bottom hinge. Test the action of the gate to ensure it swings well. Now place the additional three screws into each hinge and to the gate post. 
Next, affix the latch, handles and drop bolts in your required positions. It is important that you now clean off any swarf from the gate with a soft brush and water. And there it is. Enjoy the newfound privacy and security around your backyard.